outlook. Okay. I'm going to talk in this, um, these slides about what's happening in equity markets. I'm going to show you some really stark data. During, the, during um, April, we talked about the things that we were looking at uh, to try and figure out what was happening um, globally with markets. And so um, we try to have a look at uh, what, what the pollution numbers look like. And um, I'll show you some more pollution uh, uh, satellite images. Um, suffice to say, the European uh, Space Agency is not being as helpful um, as it was. Um, uh, we look at um, Chinese power plant um, consumption, coal consumption, um, and that's, that, that's rising. Uh, we look at um, coal ex Newcastle, and as I said earlier, it remains constant. Um, the dollar, we're, we're looking at the dollar, the US dollar is elevated at the moment. We're looking at iron ore. We're looking at Baltic dry. And one of, one of my comments in the investment committee was the first sign that things might be approving in New York um, and the US is when the, um, the, uh, the, the comfort and the mercy head for home. And, uh, for those who don't know what the Comfort and the Mercy are, um, they're 70,000 tonne oil tankers um, converted into hospital ships. And that uh, down in the bottom right hand corner is US in Comfort, uh, heading back past the Statue of Liberty to its home port in Virginia. Um, they are on standby, um, but what, we're, what I'm saying there is we might have seen the, uh, the peak of this uh, for, the, uh, for this point in, um, in time. One of the things that we, um, we also are trying to work out is aggregate demand. And um, I can hear you all going for your um, year 11 economics books here as we speak. I'll, I'll circle back to aggregate, uh, aggregate demand in a moment. So if we go to the next slide. This is what, uh, this is the Europeans uh, with their satellites tracking pollution uh, between um, uh, you know, sort of end of last year in March. And you'll, uh, and you'll see as business closes down, uh, the maps get clearer. Um, bless the European Space Agency. They, they, um, they're not publishing this stuff easily at the moment. So if we go to the next slide, I had to steal these ones off NASA. Um, and you can see that the heat maps here for uh, April, May, uh, are starting to heat up. And you can see in the north of Italy, up around Paris, um, and then on the right hand side in China. Um, but we're, we're certainly not back to the levels we were. Um, and if we go to the next slide, um, this, is, um, this is air pollution around the world. And typically what you would see on the air pollution, and I cut this one out so you can see the um, I can see the um, you, you can you, you can see the legend if you like at the bottom that the Europeans are generally moderate, um, and the Americans are somewhere between good and moderate, and you would not expect to see that um, all the time. Um, so so they, they, those those parts of the world industry uh, is closed down. There's less activity that gives us a better air quality. Um, you can see up in North Asia we're starting to turn red and. And, and that number there is, uh, that, that, that chart is, um, uh, is last night's um, chart. So if we go on to the next slide. Um, this chart is the uh, nitrogen di uh, dioxide um, levels, which are approaching normal or are back at normal now. So that would suggest to you that the Chinese economy is, um, is starting to get back to full operation. And while I can hear people popping champagne corks and saying, yippee, it can't, it, it's all fantastic. Remember I said, I'm gonna circle back to aggregate demand in a moment. We go to the next slide. Uh, we track the Baltic dry. 
uh, not Canadian club for those of you, um, you know, live in warmer climates or whatever you do. Um, you can see Baltic dry, um, we're starting to ship more. We're starting to see uh, bulk commodities. So Baltic dry is stuff you stick in cargo holds. It's not stuff you stick, stick in 40 foot by eight foot boxes. We're also seeing container shipments move. So that's a positive. And if we go to the next slide, the, this is the Chinese exports in US dollars. Um, you can see there in um, January, basically falls off a cliff or December, January falls off a cliff and it's starting to improve, but it's not back to anywhere near what it was, but it's a positive and we'll take it. We'll go to the next slide. This is, um, this is I call this global non-trade. So if you have a look at these um, charts, um, you'll see that the three month uh, rate of change and annualized falls off a cliff on the right hand side of the chart, right? By price and by volume. So that would suggest we're not shipping the amount of stuff we were, which means the economies are contracting. Mm -hmm.